Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel InfoSkillX. This video is the continuation of our restaurant POS system and in this video we will design this order page okay and we will also make this bottom navigation working so that we can switch from home to order page and table page okay so before jumping into the code if you find this video helpful please do like subscribe comment and share with your friends so now let's jump into the code so first we will integrate the routing feature in our bottom navigation so let's import the navigate and then add the on click event on the order button navigate slash orders and similarly do this thing on the tables button as well and on the home button as well okay so let's check it so you can see that it's working now let's design our order page okay so first of all import the bottom navigation here in our bottom in our order page okay so okay now now let's provide some css to the order page okay okay you can see that now it's good now let's create the structure of the order page and also provide the styling okay so follow me Okay, this is done now let's create the order card so first of all create a component order card now import it in our order page now 
let's create the structure and design our order card okay so follow me actually we forgot one thing that is the number in our order list so what we have to do here is the title equal equal to total earnings then we have to show it like that, like this and otherwise just number okay so now you can see that it's looking good Let's provide some more styling on it.
okay so card is completed now duplicate this order card and write the css flex and flex wrap okay we have to give some spacing here as well so right here gap 6 okay so there is extra gap in the right side so let me fix it Yeah, now it's looking good so you can also you can duplicate it more and some more so that now let's add some more cards So this is done and it is looking perfect. Now let's build a back button here. Okay. So whenever you click on that, you go back to your previous page. Okay. So first of all, search an icon back button and create another component in shared folder that is back button.jsx. and make it button and paste the icon here and import it now let's design it and create a navigate here and add an event listener on click navigate minus one now import it here now add some css you can see that now it's visible change the color to blue and also text color to white now okay it's good now Now let's make this buttons clickable okay so first of all create a state status and set status initially the value is all and add a event listener here to set the status to the value of the button okay now here I have to remove this styling and add the and i have to add up the conditional css so right like right like this it is equal equal to all then the background color should be bg hashtag 38338 okay now i also add the rounded lg and ps5 px5 and py2 for the padding and the border radius now copy of the css to all the buttons
now i think it's fine now okay i got some error so use state is not defined so you have to define the use state as well so you have to import the use state as well okay now it's working so that's all for this video see you in the next video